for the DNS changer uh, DNS changer virus. Now this is a little bit different from uh, some of the other viruses you may have heard, but here to explain what all this means and what you can do to make sure that you have internet on Monday is Timmy Moore. He's our expert this morning. Timmy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so this is a little bit confusing, but um, first things first, what are we talking about and why, um, why has this been an issue for so long now? What is okay. all this about? Uh, first things first, um, the virus itself is actually very invisible. You probably don't even know you have it. And what a DNS is, it, if you go to like Google.com, these servers are the ones that get you to Google.com. And what the hackers did, they basically changed these servers around. So if you wanted to go to like Facebook.com, for instance, you would probably go to a completely different website that they want you to buy something, mm -hmm. they want to get your credit card information. Ooh, and basically that's what, happened before. Yeah. And basically what this website did, it was set up by the FBI. It allows you to detect if you have the DNS virus on your computer. You just go to uh, dcwg.org slash detect and it'll tell you, do you have the virus? And if you do, here's how to clean it. So come Monday though, if you have this on your computer, you could or you will lose access to the internet. Mm -hmm. What the FBI did is for those that were infected, they basically caught the hackers obviously, mm -hmm. and they set up these servers to allow the people that were infected to be able to access the internet, get them cleaned up and stuff like that. But uh, come Monday, they're shutting down these servers. For, they were just temporary. So if you, if you were riding off these good servers for a while and you haven't fixed it, you could lose the internet access. Okay, so let's say you're on vacation and you're really not aware, you know someone that's on vacation, or maybe this is just something that you don't think you have, you don't need to check, you're not gonna worry about it, but on Monday, you go to go on the internet and you don't have access to it, what can you do from there? The best thing, oh, there are two things you could do. One, you could have a family or friend go to your computer. Um, you could run an antivirus scan. Most antiviruses have been updated okay. to find the virus and remove it. Or you could go to a local library. You could download the tool to like a flash drive or something when you get home. Just run the program and it'll detect everything. And okay, it. so even if you don't go ahead and get this done now, you'll know if you have the virus come right. Monday because you won't have access to the internet, that right. or you didn't pay your bill, one of the two. Um, so then you can go ahead and uh, you can still do it after the fact. Correct. Cool, so again, this website is dcwg.org and that's where you can find this. And Correct. this is, uh, is this free? This is, this is all free, Absolutely yes. free. Correct. Okay, and so this will detect it and mm -hmm. get rid of the uh, yep. virus Correct. as well. Correct. All right, so that's as easy as one, two, three. You just right. have to take the time out of your schedule to make sure that you go ahead and get it done before Monday. Timmy right. Moore, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning.